Hello there. Now today I've got this Bosch Portable Mono Dab FM Radio on the bench. Another Argos return. This time no sound. Purchased on the 30th of the 10th 2020. Returned on the 31st of the 10th 2020. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. Well, one radio in mint. That's the colour, not the condition. And uh, and then empty mains adapter box. Oh, and just a bit of information. I thought that was a user guide, but it's not. Right, okay. So, overall condition is quite nice. Well, I would expect it to be one day out of the store, although it has been sitting around for nearly four years. Um, right, let's get some patches in it and see what she does or doesn't do. Right. Right, let's see. How do we switch it on? Power. Right, she's come on. Ah, oh, dab. Right. Scan. FM. Right, absolutely nothing. Okay, let's find the headphones and stick some headphones in it and see if there's anything coming from the headphone socket. Yes, there is. There's the headphones. Right, so we've got sound through the headphone port, but nothing through the speaker. So we might just have a faulty speaker, or we might have something a bit more in depth. Right, so let's get the back off it and have a look inside. Alright, we're open. Right, let's have a look. Well, first thing, let's test that speaker. So, it plugs into the board just here. Let's just zoom down a little bit on that. Right, there's our speaker plug. Let's get the meter. And we'll just see if that speaker's any good. Right. Well, according to it, it should be 4 ohms. So, let's just 
Put that in there where we can see it. So we'll check it on the speaker first. Yeah, that's about 4 ohm. Let's check it at the plug end. Yeah. So the speaker's good. So the first thing I'm going to do now is have a look if the headphone socket is switching. Because when you plug your headphones in, what it does, it switches the feed to the speakers so that the speaker will go off and you'll just have your headphones. Let's have a look how that works. Let's take that little board out. Right, what we got? Let's just disconnect that battery. That's it. And I'll just take off the aerial connection so I don't snap it and end up having to re-solder it. Right, that can go out of the way now. Okay, so this is what we're interested in. Let's have a look how it switches. Okay, so left and right are on these two pins. Uh, what's that say? Comes off there to there. Right, so I think. When it's like that, yeah, those are the two. Okay, so the switching is on those two. So if I plug the headphones into there, that connection there should be broken. And if that's the case, then there's nothing wrong with the switch within the headphone jack. Yeah, that's fine. It's switching. Take it out. We should have a continuity across there. Yeah, so it's across the end pin four and pin three, which it switches across there. So there's nothing wrong with the headphone socket. It is switching as it should. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just put that off a minute. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check this lead for continuity across all the pins. So, okay. 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 If 
finally. Right. So we can rule that out, that's fine. So we're now back onto the board. Right, next thing we'll do is unplug the speaker and we'll check for continuity between the speaker socket and the sound IC, which is this little feather here. So let's zoom down on that. Right, now I haven't got a pin out of this chip, so I'm just going to put my probe on the negative side of the speaker socket and run along the pins to find out if there's any continuity there. There we go. That's one of them. Now we'll go on the positive side and do exactly the same. Nothing. So we have a problem between the positive side of the speaker socket and the sound IC. So let's get these four screws out and turn the board over and have a look what's going on. And we have to take the knob off. Just pull it off like that. Okay. Now. The solder work on this is absolutely terrible. Look at the state of this. I mean, my solder is not brilliant, but by God, I can solder better than that. It looks to me as though somebody could have been in here before and had a go at resoldering it to try and cure it. I don't know. It doesn't look as though, I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but there's don't look as though there's much solder on that, what is it, a capacitor there. And I can see what's wrong with the, this pin, I don't know whether you can pick it up on camera, but I can see that it is dry jointed, there's a big ring around the joint where it's fractured. Yeah, I can see the pin going up and down. So it looks as if it just wants resoldering on that pin. I don't even know whether that's been soldered at all, to be honest with you. I don't think it has. Get a better view of it. I don't think there's been any solder put on that joint at all. Where's um, my magnifier? Just bear with me a second. Now... There's no solder at all on that, on this pin here, none whatsoever. So that's the problem with it. Uh, that's, oh my word, what a state. If that's the best they can do from the factory then, let's get some solder on that. Right, well let's start by sticking a little bit of flux on that. And I'll also put a little bit on that one there, because that doesn't look very clever. To be honest with you, none of it looks very clever, but... <clears throat> right, let's solder that. That one's fine. Right, OK. That'll do. Let's get a little bit of alcohol on that and clean that flux off. get it back together.
Right, well, final test. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's another one saved. Well, I hope that's been of some interest to you and perhaps helped you in some way. Many thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.